Well, tonight we are going to um, check out multiplayer moving platforms. And uh, first, I'm going to come in. I'm going to wait for my friend to create a game here. I may have to just restart. <laughs> Okay, it's going to take a minute, I guess. That's fine. Oh, here he is. So we're going to join the game. This is using the Shiva 3D engine. So we're going to look and see where he is. There he is over here. And he is the server, so he only has the authority to create objects right now. and he is going to use just a little button, a test button, to create a platform. Then I'm going to go and jump on top of it. And now he's the server. And he is using these controls to modify the velocity of the object. And we're moving around and having a good time on here. We can move around independently. He's a little behind us, or rather ahead of us, because when we're looking at him, we're looking at his position as uh, setting across the internet. So really, he's up here, and we're seeing this, you know, almost a second later. So he's actually on top of the platform here in his view, and we're on top of the platform here in my view. So when he moves up and down we look like we're ahead and underneath the platform and that's consistent both for both of us <laughs> and he moved us under the terrain so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to uh, modify the code <laughs> I'm gonna have to modify the code to take into account the fact that uh, we're gonna have to take the velocity of the object that we're standing on but if I jump back here, I'm fine. Oh. Let's get back there. I'm going to speed up my run so I can get there quickly. Let's see if I can find out where he is. There he is. So, with a little bit of work here, we can actually get uh, some really cool moving platforms into any multiplayer game. So far, it's looking pretty good. Oh, the camera's going to bug out here. <laughs> it doesn't like it when objects are above us. And that is it. Thanks for watching.